And now to a WSAZ investigation that we've been telling you about since Tuesday. About two children, deputies say, were found locked inside a, a barn like an outbuilding in Kanawha County. And tonight we are learning more about what led to that discovery. And for the first time, we're hearing the 911 call from a neighbor who says they have been repeatedly reporting the problem to CPS. News Channel 3's Kim Rafferty joins us. And Kim, deputies tell us multiple reports have been made. It's a disturbing discovery, deputies say they made Monday night in the Sissonville area of Kanawha County. Deputies say the 911 call came in at about 545 Monday evening. WSAZ has obtained that 911 call and we have chosen to distort the caller's voice to protect their identity. But there is a family that we have been calling CPS on multiple times. He has two kids walked in an outbuilding. They've been in there for days. They're in that with the red door. It's padlocked. Locked with a padlock? Yes, I've seen him open it, say something to the kids, and I watched him walk it back. The kids are locked in there. You can't miss it. It's a red, two double doors. They're red. They're locked in there in the barn. Deputies say they went to the barn after that 911 call, and that is when they found the two teens inside with no access to food, water, a bathroom, bed, and no way out. A couple of hours later, the deputies say these two relatives, Donald Lance and Jean Whitefeather, arrived back at the home and were arrested on felony child neglect charges. WSAZ reported that a couple calls were also made on the home at Cheyenne Lane involving abuse of the children that lived there back in May and September. Kanawha County deputies said they investigated those complaints and say the two prior ones were unfounded. The third call, however, Donald Lance and Jean Whitefeather were not home, and that is when deputies discovered extreme neglect the children faced. I also spoke with the West Virginia Child Advocacy Network, which works with CPS and law enforcement to investigate allegations of abuse and neglect. So it's often happening in homes, it's happening in neighborhoods, so um, neighbors need to look out for each other. Kate Flack is the CEO of that organization. She says the person that reported the concerns to law enforcement is a hero. Contacting CPS centralized intake is a great way to start investigations um, and maintain your anonymity. So if anyone observes an actual crime where a kid is being physically or sexually abused or you know severely neglected, call 911 if it's happening like then or you just found out about it. WSAZ has reached out to the West Virginia Department of Health and Human Resources to find out more about the process for reporting, how many reports were made on the home on Cheyenne Lane in the last year, and how quickly cases are investigated after the caller's initial report. In Kanawha County, Kim Rafferty, WSAZ News Channel 3. Now we will keep reaching out to DHHR for more information about this child neglect case.